A couple of years ago, I had a dead ash tree cut down on my property and then had the trunk cut into planks. At the time, I thought it might be nice to have a live edge ash fireplace mantle or bar top. So the idea was in the back of my mind when I saw a few YouTube videos of hacks of other IKEA dressers into apothecary cabinets. I have an area in my dining room that's a bit of a dead space. And I had thought of making a sideboard for storage and creating a live edge top for it. I investigated the Rast and Tarva dressers, but thought they did not have the depth that I wanted. I liked the depth of my current Malm dresser. So I decided to use the ones I already had in my master bedroom and spare bedroom. I cleared out the area and moved my three drawer Malm dresser from my spare bedroom and the six drawer Malm dresser from my master bedroom. I added a strip of painter's tape to the wall so that I could mark the location of the wall studs since the sideboard was going to be permanently attached. I pulled off the back of the dressers and removed the dressers top. This left the frame rather wobbly, but I corrected that by using connector bolts to bolt the two frames together and I attached one inch by two inch pine boards to the top and bottom of the back. I wanted the frame to sit out from the wall by a few inches, so I added an additional two by four frame around the top and I used it to screw into the back wall and the side wall studs. I filled in the side gaps with one by four boards, trimmed down to fit the space and to fit around the baseboards. Off camera, I also added a one by three board at the bottom to be a kick plate. I realized that I couldn't use the existing Malm drawer fronts because although the width of the drawer fronts worked to give a nice gap between the drawers, the height was about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters too short and exposed too much of the frame and sideboard. A Malm drawer front is seven and 15 sixteenths or 20 centimeters high. I needed my new drawer fronts to be 8 and 11 16 or 22 centimeters high. I bought nine 12 inch by 36 inch pine panels, which are three quarters of an inch thick. And I cut them down to 31 and 3 8 or 79.6 centimeters wide by 8 and 11 16 or 22 centimeters high. Since the boards are three quarters of an inch thick, I set the height of my circular saw and my table saw to half that height, three eighths of an inch, to cut the grooves in the drawer fronts to give the illusion of many smaller drawers. Make sure that you carry the cuts on the top, bottom, and sides to help with the illusion. Since all of the small false drawers were the same size, I created a paper template with the location of the screw holes needed for the drawer poles, and I marked them on all of the drawer fronts. I transferred the locations of the holes and the slot from the back side of the old drawer fronts to the new pine drawer fronts. The holes for the wooden dowels were drilled with a 7 32nd inch drill bit and the holes for the connector hardware were drilled with a 3 16th inch drill bit. Make sure you mark the drills with some painter's tape to regulate the depth of your holes. I cut the slot in the back of the drawer front so that the drawer bottom could fit into it. Once the drawers were assembled, test fit all of the drawers together.
This is the part of the project where the wheels really came off. My inability to do any fine finishing came through in spades. I coated the raw wood with pre-stained conditioner and then completely messed up everything else with the staining process. I had seen another YouTuber using the technique of using a small dish with a hole poked in it to drip the dark stain into the grooves. The hole I made was obviously too big and the stain poured out all over the place. I tried covering the boards with a gel stain, but the dark stain just leaked through. I had originally planned to make all of the drawer fronts the same color, but once it was done, I hated the look. I stripped off the hardware and sanded the drawer fronts back down and reapplied different shades of stain in random patterns. The blueprint style drawers were first painted gray and then the dark stain was added to darken the grooves and any excess was sanded off. The other colors of stain were added more as a paint effect to dirty up the drawers and make them look more aged. I then attached all of the drawer pulls and assembled the drawers. I much prefer the effect of the random shades of stain much better than a single stain color. After a few months, I decided to give the sideboards an application of paste finishing wax. This meant that the drawers had to be removed one at a time, disassembled, and all of the hardware removed. The paste wax was applied with a scrubbing pad to help the wax bind into the wood and to ensure complete coverage. You can see the additional luster that the paste wax is giving it. Make sure that any extra paste doesn't get stuck in the grooves of the door fronts. And don't forget to wax the edges and backs of each board. The last step is to reattach the hardware and then just to repeat the process over and over again. Partway through, the boss came over and inspected my work. I guess I passed. So now that the base is finished, it's time to start working on the live edge top or the apothecary cabinet. Good news, I have a lovely plank of live edge ash. Bad news, it's at the bottom of that pile. Luckily, I had my nephew over for a visit, so we got to work shifting the pile of lumber to get to the piece that I wanted. Due to the thickness of the plank, it actually took me two passes to cut it to length. The countertop is actually made up of three pieces of lumber, but they are currently unattached. It's all just bare wood right now, because it will take a better woodworker with better tools than me to get the pieces milled, attached together, and finished. But it is functional, and it works for me now. This was an enjoyable project, and I think I have proven that any novice woodworker could complete it. The sideboard looks great and is very functional. So subscribe to my channel to see more videos of me attempting other woodworking projects or other stuff. Because remember, I'm old, I'm bored, and I'm only able to change one of those.